Unit 7, Day 4, Solving Systems of Equations by Elimination. This is Mr. McGough up in R12, and I'm going to go over another way for us to solve systems of equations. So, the steps to solve by elimination. First, we're going to put both equations into standard form. This will give us something where we have something times x plus something else times y equals a number. So we do that to make sure that we have our equations all lined up in the same way. It's almost like thinking about hundreds place and tens place and ones place. That'll be explained a little more here in a bit. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get opposite coefficients in front of either the x or the y variables. And that may be requiring multiplication of one of the equations by some number so that one of the equations, for example, if I had 2x in one of the equations, I might want to have negative 2x in the other. And then we add the two equations together. We can do that because we have an equal sign. Everything on the left is equal to everything on the right. So when we add the left side of the equation to the left side of a second equation, it's going to be equal to the sum of the two right sides. And when we do this, it will eliminate one of our variables. And then we will solve the, that remaining equation to find part of our solution. So for example, if we eliminated x, now we can find y. What we're going to do then is we're going to substitute the value for the solved variable into either original equation, and then we're going to solve the remaining equation to find the other part of our solution. If originally we found y by eliminating x, we'll take that value back, put it in, and now we can solve for x. And then we're going to write our answer as a coordinate pair, x, y, and then we're going to check our answer. So some examples. Number one, I have two equations. First, I want to get them both into the same form. So here I have to remove x from the right side so I can get it onto the left side. And then I'm going to write it in the order. Something times x plus something times y equals a number. The second equation also not yet in standard form. Now I have to subtract y from both sides. So I get 3x minus y equals negative 27. Now I see I have a negative y in my second equation and a positive y in my first equation. So I'm going to write my first equation directly underneath of my second equation. And I'm going to add the two equations together. 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. The y terms eliminate. And that equals 16. Now I solve for x. Now I'm going to take that value and I'm going to go back up to one of my original equations. So I have y equals 5 times negative 8 plus 43. 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. Negative 40 plus 43 is 3. So I have a coordinate pair. Negative 8 comma 3. I'm going to take those values and now I'm going to do my check. I'm going to go up to this equation. I'm going to say 3 times negative 8 
should equal 3 minus 27. Negative 24 equals negative 24. So my check works out. Our second problem. Here I see that I have 7x and 2x. Well, those aren't even the same number for the coefficient, but our y terms have the same number. One has a 3, the other has a 3. But I need the opposite. So I need to take one of the equations, so I'm going to take the second one, and I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. This is multiplication, multiplying by negative 1. So 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. 3y becomes negative 3y. And negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Now, I have my opposite coefficient. So I'm going to write my first equation underneath. I'm going to add these together. Negative 2x plus 7x is 5x. The y's eliminate one another. And 5 minus 25 is negative 20. Solving for x, I'll divide both sides by 5. x equals negative 4. Now I'm going to take that value and I'm going to substitute it into one of my equations. So 2 times negative 4 plus 3y should equal negative 5. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 3y equals negative 5. I have to isolate y, so I'm going to add 8 to each side. 3y equals 3. I solve. y equals 1. I'm going to write my answer as a coordinate, negative 4, comma, positive 1. And now I'm going to do my check. So 7 times negative 4 plus 3 times 1 should equal negative 25. 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. And negative 28 plus 3 does equal negative 25. Now pause the video and try A on your own. So the first thing that we see with A is the y terms are already opposite one another and it's already in standard form so I can directly add these two equations together 24 on the right 8x on the left and the y's have eliminated one another so 8x equals 24 I'll divide both sides by 8 x equals 3 now I need to go back and solve for y so 3 times x plus 2 times y equals 17. 9 plus 2y equals 17. Subtract 9 from each side. 2y equals 8. Divide both sides by 2. y equals 4. So my solution is 3 comma 4. Now I want to check my work. I'll use my second equation. 5 times 3 minus 2 times 4 should equal 7. 15 minus 8 equals 7. So we're good. B my first equation is in the correct form. My second equation, I need to get into the correct form. I will add 2y to each side. So I have negative 7x plus 2y equals negative 20. I'll bring my first equation over. 7x minus 2y equals 22. I see that my x term has an opposite coefficient. Oh my. Also my y term has an opposite coefficient. When I add these two equations together, x is eliminated and y is eliminated. And negative 20 plus 22 is 2. 
Is it true that zero plus zero equals two? No, it's not. So for what value of x and y would zero equal two? None. So there is no solution for letter B.